Hey gang, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video of Iron Throne. How do you like that new intro? I don't know. It took me about 30 seconds of uh, searching on YouTube to find something. Uh, some new music because we don't have swag here because he's doing some battle royale right now. But I want to go ahead and make a new video. We just had our first invasion. It was extremely uneventful. Um... Essentially, all that happened with this new um, event was that, well, hey, we went in, we showed up, we showed force, and we won. And now we have Ariel sitting on the top of that throne. You know, hopefully she doesn't fall off of the throne. It's a little weird that someone would sit on a castle rather than a chair to be the king slash queen. Although, I guess she is now the king, but she's a lady, so that's cool. So, what all do you get from be the capital what does it all mean what are the best options and how should you utilize these options and we'll take a look into all of that so the king gets the troop attack troop defense troop health increase of plus 20 percent great stats you know it's a nice little benefit to have and then you got the console that's slightly below and the tactician which has slightly less and then you get slightly more in troop defense but you only get one stat here at the royal guard captain now you have some for resource production rate which really isn't beneficial silver production rate which again it, it's nice to have because you do want to have 10 silver mines but you know it's not going to make that huge of a difference i ask for high scholar i do a lot of research research is a lot of power i want to have the ability to grow like that my boy swag over here got construction speed plus 10 percent so you can go ahead and get to those higher castle levels. So that's pretty sweet. Then we got Mar with the resource production rate. Again, not that big of a deal. Now, there are some negative titles as well, which they all have their own different benefits. But the best part is whenever you type, you have your title above your name. So like over here, we have Supreme Justice Swag saying same. Now, let's take a look at the, the shop and some of the other items now. So, you get Kingdom Research Boosts. You get 5 minutes or 60 minutes, and there's a whole bunch of Royal Funds. I don't know where these Royal Funds come from, how to replenish them, but I do know that we have a ton of them. So, we're going to be utilizing this in the World Ranking event so that we could go ahead and try to get back into the top of the leaderboards there. Last night, I was actually fortunate enough to get 5th place in the Kingdom. That gave me a hundred dollars worth of Dark Lord material chest which was pretty sweet if you ask me I was quite satisfied with myself but kicking myself because my huge power jump that probably would have gotten me first place I did for just a regular old super inferno event so now we're gonna take a look at where the real power from this capital comes from and that's gonna be in the capital vault so we have the immortal tribute chests the epic tribute chests, and the rare tribute chests. so let's delve into what these all give you. So this immortal package will give you a hundred times of each of the level 40 gears. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. And I don't know what else to say. Like it, you get a hundred of each. That's phenomenal. That's about twenty dollar pack, but it's split up between different pieces. So the twenty dollar pack, the like the rare, the like the weekly ones that they've been doing for the past two weeks. You also get an invasion teleport, which allows you to invade a unprotected kingdom and take over their kingdom now our kingdom is currently shielded so if we were to have a throne battle other kingdoms could come in and take our throne for themselves however we're currently protected so we were just fighting by ourselves then you can also get 500 war coins as well 500 war coins can do you a lot of good there's so many different amazing benefits they can get from the war coin shop now here is the catch when you get this in your items you don't really want to open it because when you open it that invasion teleport will only last you for so long you have like 12 to 24 hours I'm not sure what exactly it is I haven't opened up mine yet we're gonna open it up just to take a look at it see what we get you know nothing really too special right there so um, if you, it might be best in your best interest to go ahead and save that for when you actually need it now the epic will just half of everything except for the war coins and then the rare will give you the level 30 gear at times 100 and half of what the epic gives you for war coins 
then there's like a little Hall of Fame there as well. So that's what it gives you. Let's go ahead and take a look at our items. We'll go ahead and open up our Immortal Tribute Chest. So we got all of our Material Chests, our Invasion Teleport, and all of our War Coins. Now, you might be like, Cat, you literally just said don't open it. Why would you open it? Well, like, I'm not too worried about it. You know, if I need one, okay, so we had nine and a half hours for that. Um, go ahead and invade any one of these kingdoms. Um, probably don't want to do any of that. Let's be honest here. That could be really dangerous. Um, maybe, maybe later. I don't know. I don't know. But let's go ahead and uh, let's open up some of our equipment chests that we got from the event with the gift boxes so we got a bunch of silver about six million there we got some ancient coins and a whole bunch of other chests but let's go ahead I have got some slaughter chests that I want to open up 110 there open up some majestic and uh, some agility some outcry you know what we'll just open up all of them why not Alrighty, so now, eh, we'll just go take a look at inside our castle. Got that level 32, got that VIP 30 rocking so we could get that blue around the... Go hit me up with that subscribe button on the uh, YouTube channel, eh? So we'll go into our forge here and we'll take a look at our slaughter gear and see what we can or cannot do. So we'll go ahead and enhance a couple of pieces. That's not going to give us anything, unfortunately. But not a huge deal. We'll go take a look at our weapon now. Still nothing with our weapon. And, oh, we could go ahead and... It's tight. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, it does happen. Sweet. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get ourselves another uh, piece of slaughter. Let's go ahead and we'll speed this bad boy up. Hey. So we got ourselves another ring. We'll go ahead and plug that baby together. And we'll just go ahead and enhance here. So we've got one at plus eight, one at plus seven. So we'll bring this one up equally. And we'll get that up to plus eight there. Alrighty. Not too bad. So, yeah. I mean, that that's all I've got on the uh, invasion event. So, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. And we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like that, like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there in the middle of your screen. And go ahead and share this with your friends. If you want an account guide, by all means, go ahead and hit me up with an account guide. We do one-to-one -one account guides. We have a video on it with more information. Also, go ahead and uh, join our Discord server or hit me up online. And uh, if you're interested in downloading this game, I can give you a little link. That will be worth your while to join our playtest. So, thank you all for watching. This is Cam Cowboy.